Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into your daily read for Sunday, July 23rd, 2023. I hope you're doing well. We're going to begin and pull from the Prism Oracle deck, um, as I almost forgot the name of it. But I got a download before beginning the reading, as I was just sitting here um, waiting for noise to calm down. The message was, it's smart to be you. That's where the truth lies. It's smart to be you. That's where the truth lies. And I took a second to ponder upon it. And if you were to do the same, there's more than one um, way that you can take that message. A lot can come from it. So let's begin. What do we have for Sunday? For Sunday. You shine is now what I'm hearing. You shine. Consciousness. All right. Being very much aware of yourself, how you're affecting other people or one person in particular situation. Uh, very much uh, observant uh, of your surroundings. I do feel like your mental state is taking a highlight. Things going from minuscule to uh, too large or just larger in a positive sense taking a highlight. But as well, um, the ability to minimalize things to your advantage or even to benefit a situation um, or to accomplish something. So that's still your advantage to continue for Sunday. Your state of realiz realization is what I just heard. Oh, I need to take a deep breath because that annoying car going by did um, affect my energy. Okay, anger, why is this coming out? Is this more so past energy, energy for you? Is this someone else in your midst or that you're observing? I do sense that this anger is misplaced or just needing to be wiped away, all right? Um, but I do sense that all the meanwhile, you're doing a bit of reflection. Now, these could definitely tie together for you, but either way, this reflection um, is helping you see things differently. If you look at this, I'm kind of seeing it as um, goggles or um, glasses, but I just feel all the meanwhile, there's a focus on your voice. It kind of looks like a, um, a microphone now that I'm looking at it. And I really do feel like it is a day where you energy wise for the most part are feeling quite passionate and peaceful. Like I got that at the split deck when I was doing some pre shuffling, but um, with passion at the bottom of the deck. But I do feel like all the meanwhile, there are certain factors within you and or outside of you making you uh, a bit nervous. All right. At least at one, if not multiple points throughout the day, doesn't have to be the entire uh, Sunday, right? Um, it's going to vary from case to case. But there's a true focus on when you're feeling happy. And I love this simplistic happiness uh, imagery because it shows that your happiness needs to be feeling peaceful. I mean, it doesn't always need to, but your comfort and your happiness in the situation, your life as a whole, could be just, you know, say two situations out of all of which um, definitely being of true importance. Let's continue and pull some small everyday tarot. Wow, can't speak. Bear with me. Small everyday tarot. Okay. When you know, you know. For Sunday to continue. Doing an aggressive flop out. Oh, the High Priestess and the Lovers. Not surprised to get the High Priestess after giving you the message of when you know, you know. A very intuitive day. A day where your intuition is pairing quite nicely with your um, spiritual side. Your spiritual gift or gifts. Uh, your connection to that realm. I'm getting as well for some, it's more so the uh, spiritual guidance you have and support presence um, backing you up or more so um, confirming what you felt intuitively um, basically pushing you to always remind yourself to trust that intuition you're not feeling something for no reason but um, the lovers talking about how you decided to be where you are wrapped up with what you have at hand could be more than one way of course um, at one point for a reason because it was meant to be at least for the time um, it has its benefits or it just uh, is, again, what you wanted um, or needed more so or be, maybe a combination of both. But you can't help but think about how did I choose the right thing? 
spirit saying is that really truly important for you to reflect upon at this time right um, for some maybe to a certain extent but if you do end up reflecting upon it don't let that get out of hand to the point of overthinking there's a chance for you to let your mind get out of control in a moment of silence or just uh, even chaos but I feel like you're going to be very much watched now this is watched in general right um, for the good or for the bad, but also looked after, guided, and protected when it comes to a choice that you can't help but think about for the near future. Um, the Magician. It's a day where you're manifesting justice, some of which this is financial, others of which this is an adjustment in a situation, um, more of what you need, however that ends up um, appearing for you. There is kind of a conquering vibe, like I just want to get this done. All right, I just want to make this happen. I want to get closer. Um, having at certain points throughout the day a bit of an angelic presence, all right, due to your spirituality, just your peaceful way of being, the way you approach this and that, accomplish this and that, communicate. Um, but then there are other points where you get this spurt of energy, um, this passion coming to be. But it, Spirit's saying, even when that comes to be, um, you're being perceived still as peaceful. Okay, especially in comparison to, I want to say, whoever they were just talking to, um, thinking about who surrounds you. Um, I'm hearing wrapped up in that situation. But all the meanwhile, I feel like there's somebody around you who is very heartbroken going through it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if some of which are thinking about or experiencing somebody with a combination of these two. You know, sometimes when you're going through this, it can come with this or just people cope with things differently um, but the wheel of fortune because I feel like things are turning in your favor slowly but surely bit by bit it doesn't feel like these huge strides are happening right and I know you probably desire that or most likely do um, but it feels like it's like the wheel is just kind of like a clock turning bit by bit you know minute by minute um, they're saying hour by hour in your favor. And so if you think about that in a larger sense, you're getting closer, you're making progress, all right? Um, fortune is on the other side is what I'm hearing. But there's also negatives on the other side. It, trying not to, um, trying to remember and or realize in certain ways that the grass isn't always greener on the other side, but if it's what is truly meant for you and it's what you want, then it is what it is, right? you're always going to um, either uh, try to change um, and or accept certain negatives, certain cons, if the pros outweigh that in your mind and you simply wanna make it work. So this is a day that reminds you when you wanna make something work regardless of the negatives or whatever doesn't suit you, align with you, you're going to make it work. And this could be more so in regards to something that you're it's benefiting you so that you can get to something different or you're just making the best until the best it might be because it's ideal for you but then again it has those negatives or not so ideal aspects to it it was wordy but you get the point i hope that was helpful keywording i hope that was helpful the five of cups yeah because there is a situation where you are expecting the worst um it could be two situations at most, but I feel like all the meanwhile, it's like you're very aware, conscious, uh, if I can even say that word, of the imperfections, of the aspects of a situation that don't speak to your soul, that aren't really your cup of tea, or just kind of who you've become over time, or who you are in general. But I just sense that it's a, you need to remember it's a good thing to remember or to even get closer to realizing the type of people, places, and situations that don't align with you at this point. I really feel like that needs to be, or could be viewed as preparation to an extent for um, a choice moving forward, feeling like a, a big change or a yeah, switch up, a, a new chapter even for some. Let your third eye open a bit more throughout this day. Because that can, you know, your third eye can open up in certain ways at certain points along your path to new awareness, new, uh, better understanding, um, what you truly haven't seen yet, 
um, or at least not fully, and what you need to know moving forward. I'm hearing we'll let you know. Um, the Knight of Swords, the Judgment card, um, it just feels like you're getting your voice out there throughout the day selectively. I do sense that there's a lot of honest people around you or that you're connected to in general, even if they're at a distance. But all the meanwhile, I feel like you want to charge towards something that Spirit's saying, let's be honest um, in regards to how to make the best when that time comes, um, how to make the best currently, and what we need to do until that point. But I just sense, sense that, excuse me. Again, it's a day where you're gaining clarity in regards to um, a fresh start. Feeling at times like you're a fish out of water and, and that helping you realize this or that of importance but putting in hard work in your own individual way in regards to um, I'm hearing plucking away to um, start again once again or uh, have this leap of faith. Um, Spirit saying we prepared you to or are preparing you to, to travel um, with a light amount of stuff to pack lightly in general, but I feel like you're blossoming where you currently are, whether you realize that fully or at all. Okay. Um, but there are going to be moments throughout the day where you either put in less work uh, or you simply just don't feel like working, but you do, or putting in effort, doing what you need to do. But I do feel like either way you will prevail. <clears throat> and it's a day where you will feel better about your progress for the most part by the end. But I just feel like all the meanwhile, you need to recognize um, how much closer you are than you were at a certain point rewinding back right going back to that reflection card and this will help you feel good about um taking even uh more steps closer to uh what you want all right that wasn't the best wording but i hope this was truly helpful sending you so much love and light go enjoy your sunday and i'll see you next time